Hi, crafty friends. Do you guys ever start a project and it just goes haywire? This is one of those projects. So let me show you how I fixed it. So I love this sign because it has the raised half beads on the top and the bottom. So what I was thinking was, oh, I can just sand over this, paint over it, and then put my tissue paper over and I will be just fine. Well, <laughs> when I put the paint on, I had to, actually had to do two coats of it. Um, I guess it kind of loosened everything <laughs> and then everything came off. I was like, okay, well, we can fix this. So I just pulled everything off of what is the front of the sign and then we're just gonna flip it over <laughs> and we're just gonna do the back. I, initially, I was going to take those beads off, but I was worried that I would break them pulling it off. So I guess it kind of worked out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a light coat of paint on here. I only just did one coat uh, just because I wanted that white background for the tissue paper. And then what I do is I kind of just uh, place these back where um, they go. You can kind of you know follow them up on the edge to get the placement. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my tissue paper down first. That way I'll have a nice crisp line up against those little half beads. And I love the half beads. I think this is so super cool. So if you guys didn't see this uh, sign at the Dollar Tree, I suspect they're going to have more of these because they went super fast at my Dollar Tree. They did. Um, but then I'm going to draw just a line all the way across again. That way I can just match up my tissue paper. Now you guys saw at the first of the video, I got a pack of tissue paper from Dollar Tree and it has some really cool patterns. So I thought, ooh, we'll use some of the plaid and some of the leaves and then we'll put um, something in between those. I'm gonna do that um, distressing technique, uh, but we will get to that. So you can see I'm putting a little Mod Podge down, then I lay my tissue paper, and then once it, it dries really good, I did put a, a top coat of the Mod Podge on. Now this tissue paper, you guys can see why I painted the background white, um, is super duper thin, and grabbed out some of the antiquing wax, and just kind of started getting it in between all of the little um, faux wooden beads there. And actually what I ended up doing was grabbing a paintbrush and it got in there much better. So once my Mod Podge is all dry, then I just take my little sanding block and I just clean up my edges. And then I bought these little, they're coming in packs of two each letter uh, from Hobby Lobby. And I thought, oh, we can totally make home, um, you know, the word home into the center part in between the tissues. So I used that same antiquing wax on the letters as well. And then for the O, you guys, I, you know how Dollar Tree for a while was having the little leaf, um, kind of wreaths, the little miniature ones. I was pulling them off of signs and redoing signs and I kept a bunch of them. So that's what we're gonna use for this. So that same paintbrush I was using on the beads, I'm just gonna kind of go around the edge to begin with and really uh, clean that up. And then I'm gonna get out, or not clean it up, just stress it up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab the uh, kitchen sponge and we're gonna do some of that distressing technique. You guys, as you can see, I'm even going right over the tissue paper because I want this to look super duper aged. And I love this technique. My friends, I have so many questions and so many emails I get about, can you help me with distressing? And honestly, you guys, this is using that little kitchen sponge is the easiest way to do it. So here we go. We're going to hot glue these right back into place. Then I'm going to place my letters and my little wreath. And look how cute this is. I'm in love with this. I just think it turned out so adorable. So friends, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to follow for more.